So just in time for Halloween, I thought I would go back and review the most frightening movie I ever saw as a kid. Not to mention, I have not did a review in many, many months, so I believe it's a good time, don't you think? <laughs> We got 13 Ghosts. 13 Ghosts is the most frightening movie I ever seen as a kid. This movie was my Exorcist, my Night of the Living Dead, whatever movie that terrified you the most and kept you up for many, many days as a kid. This movie is that for me. So since I have not seen this movie in about over 10 years, I wanted to see was I was I really young and is this movie a bad horror movie or does this movie hold some scares for me? So I have to say right away this movie is cheesy. The opening scene over the top and cheesy right away right off the bat in this movie. We have these three smart fools in this movie. You know the movie where they have the intelligent group of people that's doing something for the over the top bad guy, boss guy. We have that in this opening scene and, and it's it's layered in with, with action music. We have this horror movie supposedly that's layered in with action music right away. And as I was watching this, it automatically put me back into the bad movies of the 90s and the two th early 2000s where they had, it was just these these horror movies that had action movie music that just, it, it just didn't blend well. It just doesn't work. Tony Shalhoub is in this and at this time he's at the height of his success. He inherits this huge mansion this 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 glass house from his uncle that has just passed away and at this point of our movie this is the best thing that has happened to him and his two kids since the passing of his wife is this passing down of this huge mansion from his uncle and just going back and watching it right away it just picked up to me that this this house is not beautiful it's not nice it's just a huge glass house where every wall every door uh everything is completely made out of glass and just steel guys this is a fucking strange house to me at least this is a strange house just looking at it when you have a house where everything is just made out of glass and every wall is made out of glass and you have these walls where these spell scripts that are holding these ghosts back that's probably the most if you have not seen this movie this is that's going to be the most spoiler thing i'm going to say so far so these walls that has the scripts these these cubes that are containing the ghosts they're supposed to keep them in, but they're not. Now the house, for some reason, is now shifting and the walls are moving and the ghosts are now being let out of their cubes that they were contained in. And even going back and watching this movie as an adult and being able to really understand what's going on, this movie is very, very entertaining. But for the most part, we just watching this movie, this movie is going, you don't know what it wants to really be. Because this movie just wants to be fun, do it not want to be taken serious? It does show that at times, but then at times this movie does want to be taken serious. And so when this movie does want to be taken serious, good things happen, scary things happen, great things are happening, and then just like that, the movie just squanders it with a lot of humor and a lot of over-the-top things. We have overused sarcasm. Matthew Lillard is in this and he's good in this movie. He's needed in this movie. But then there's times where you just have the overuse of sarcasm. We just, we just don't need that shit. And Matthew Lillard, as good as he is in this movie, it's sometimes where the character just does things we don't need. Not to mention we have the stereotypical uh, black woman character in this movie, which we, we just don't need in that movie. We just don't need this in this movie. We don't. What can I say? We don't get enough time with our ghosts. We we see them. They're out there. We feel their presence. But we just don't get enough time with our ghosts, especially the ones that are supposed to be the worst ghosts in the movie. The, the, the worst of the worst. We really don't see them for the most part. In the middle of this movie, we do get a lot of explanation about what's going on. Why is this stuff happening that we're seeing? We don't get a lot of backstory with our ghosts for the most part. That's on a uh, on a DVD extra. This now would be a Blu-ray extra, but I've never seen it. So we do get hair-raising moments, a lot of humor, a lot of sarcasm. This, this movie's entertaining. I will say the first go around, this movie is really, really entertaining. In the end result, guys, this is just, it's just, it's not a good movie. It's just not. It's just the movie that just, it's there. It has all the potential in the world, but it really goes nowhere. So if you really want to scare some younger sibling or cousin, show them this. It will be great. They'll be scared. But for a friend, just watch it with a friend that's never seen it. If you've never seen it before, go ahead. You watch it one time. It's really entertaining. You will just come on and say, well, it, it's all right. It was, it was what it was. And then you just bury this thing. You never watch it again. I will say that 13 Ghosts is a 49. Out of 100 guys get in the comment section let me know your thoughts let me know what movie kept you up this was it i seen this movie when i was nine years old so go ahead guys 
and let me know what movie kept you up, what movie scared. This movie, I seen at like nine years old. I was so scared, I didn't see it until I was 13 again, and now at the age of 25. Guys, get in a conversation. Let me know the age you were, what movie it was, and uh, does those still those same effects still hold to this day, even though you're older? So let me know. Get in a conversation. Like, share, subscribe. Do what you gotta do. I'm out.